Hi, I'm Beth from Restyle Pieces Boutique. Welcome back to my channel. And today it happened again. I sold some one three pieces a while back and now she wants me to do a desk and bookcase combination for her daughter for her bedroom that matches that bedroom set. So how can I say no? So if you want to watch this makeover, stay tuned. So here's a photo of the bookcase and desk combo to, that I'm doing for a client. Um, I got started earlier before I filmed anything. I knocked off those um, drawer front or the drawer handles that were wood and clunky. So I got rid of those and I'll bondo those and clean that up and make it all nice and smooth. So the first thing that I'm going to do as usual is vacuum my piece and clean thoroughly. You want your piece to not have grease or wax or dirt or anything on it when you get ready to sand and prime and paint. This is not gum. It's on the inside of the drawer, but I don't know what it is. I think it's like that slime stuff or it's uh, the foam stuff that, um, I don't know, whatever it is, I needed to get it off. I used my uh, painter's tool and I just chipped that off and then I'll sand it off smooth and, and you'll never know that it was there. Now I'm using my Pure Power from Farmhouse Paint. It's a pre-paint cleaner, degreaser, uh, gets rid of the wax and dirt and just works really well. I'm spraying it with water and rinsing everything well and then we'll get started. I'm using my Surf Prep 3x4 Ray Electric Sander and I'm using the foam abrasives, which are real squishy that you can get in all those details. So I'm scuff sanding it um, to get the shine off my piece so that the paint will adhere better. When I get done with the foamy pads that I'm using for all the detailed places, I use the regular paper and it's flat and that works great on those flat surfaces. Once again, these two pieces are a client piece and it's going to match the three piece set that she bought from me about a month ago. It's for her nine year old daughter. So we're going to get started on the top now and I'm going to sand that down and we will be giving it a paint wash with the same paint that I'm using <clears throat> to paint the piece with. I'm painting it with hybrid beige from Farmhouse Paint. And when I whitewash this top, I will be watering that down in an eight to one ratio, eight parts water, one part paint and doing a paint wash and then we'll top coat it. Getting all the finish off this top and sanding through my grits, uh, 120 or I'm sorry, 80, 120 and then 180 and that's getting it nice and smooth. Now here I'm mixing up my paint wash with distilled water. And I've got a measuring cup there. You can see it has uh, measurements on the big cup and my little measuring cup and I mix it together and here we go. I use a big wide synthetic brush and I just do a section at a time. I paint the paint wash on and then I wipe it off pretty easy. I'm using Bondo glazing and spot putty to put in all those dings and nicks that are in the surface that I can see. And so I'm just filling those in. I'm also filling in the screw hole covers. Um, they're like pegs that they put in there. As you can see, I'm going to cover those up so that they won't be visible after I paint. I let that dry overnight because I was done for the day and I sanded those smooth and then used a damp rag to wipe off all the dust.
Now here I need to get my Bondo and Spot Putty out from that little crevice that's in the middle of the drawer. So I'm using these uh, sanding tools. They are called sanding grips and I will put them in the description along with all of the products and materials that I use on this furniture makeover. They'll be down in the description. And I have an Amazon shop also, which I do earn a small commission for if you order from there. But mainly it's just a good way to uh, organize all the products that we've used on this video and then you can see it all in one place. So as I'm doing this, I'm wrapping around a piece of sandpaper and then I'm going in the crevices and getting out all that glazing spot putty and making it nice and smooth. Here, I don't wanna paint the back. So I'm just taking my scotch tape and plastic and taping that back so that I don't get paint there. Occasionally, I will paint the back of a piece um, if it, you know, if the back is going to show or if the back is not really in good condition, you know, it looks stained or whatever. So then I will paint it. And here we go. I'm using Kills Restoration Water Base Primer. I've already started, forgot to put turn on the uh, camera but you'll see enough of it, trust me. So it is a very light gray. It almost looks white and it is not easy. I have to turn my gun sideways to be able to spray inside all these uh, different nooks and crannies of the bookcase, but I'm getting it done. Between these two parts of the bookcase and desk, it's a lot of surface area. So it does take a while and there's a lot of, you know, flipping as my husband just helped me just now and looking upside down at it and the drawers are separate. So there's a lot to it. Um, it's a job, but I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. And I can't wait to see my client's reaction when she sees it. And it's time to bring in the desk. Now that the top bookcase is finished and I'll start on that desk and then the drawers will be the last thing that I spray.
Since this is a lot of spraying and a lot of surface area, I'm going to skip where I spray with the actual paint because on camera it looks similar a similar color. Um, so I'm going to skip right over to where my paint wash is dry and I've given it a nice smooth sand with a 400 grit uh, sanding sponge and now I'm top coating it with Farmhouse Paint Clear Coat. It's a very durable, easy to use clear coat. I'm putting on the hardware for my last step. It's looking great and let me show you what the piece looked like before and now what it looks like after. So excited for my client that she'll have the final piece to the puzzle of her daughter's bedroom. Thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here and for watching. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then just hit that subscribe button down there. Also hit the bell button so that you can be notified when new videos come out. So see you next time. Thank you.